Remove the service front and back cover. With the machine in the vertical position, remove the gearbox oil plug. The oil level should be at the bottom edge of the filler hole. Top up if necessary. The templates to check the tool chuck for wear are marked with the tool shank size. Use the appropriate template for the machine. Insert the template into the tool chuck. It's important to place the template across the flats as shown. The part of the template marked minimum should enter completely into the tool chuck. The part of the template marked maximum should not enter into the tool chuck. If it does, the tool chuck is worn and should be replaced. Check the leaf springs for cracks and replace them if necessary. The springs should always be changed as a pair. Check the top and bottom surfaces of the end stops for wear. Check the ball joints for wear. If there is play, they should be replaced. Check that there's clearance between the stabilizing arm and the engine crankcase when the handle frame is pressed against the end stop. Always remove the spark cable before any work is done on the engine. Remove the starter cover from the machine. Rotate the flywheel until the surface of the magneto is opposite the poles of the electronic unit. Using a feeler gauge, check the gap clearance. A correct gap should be 0.25 to 0.3 millimeters or 0.01 to 0.012 inches. Adjust if necessary. Fit the starter cover. Check the torque of the four breaker housing screws. Tighten the screws with a torque wrench set to 20 newton meters or 14.7 foot pounds. Check the machine for oil leakage. Special attention should be paid to the gaskets. From the underside of the filter cover, remove the breather filter and replace with a new one. Fit the front, service and back cover.